Hello and welcome to the data type video for SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. To follow along with this video, you can get the Enterprise Edition from www.sqlpower.ca/architect. In this video, we will show you how to create your own data type. The first thing we have on the screen is a project that we've started on the server. We've made a table and we want to change the room dimension from an integer to some kind of object, maybe a rectangle or a box. To create our own data type, we need to go to the Enterprise menu under the Domains and Data Types, and we go to the Data Type Manager. In the Data Type Manager, we see on the left all the data types that are available in the system, and on the right, we have the editor for an individual data type. To start, we are making a rectangle, so we will add in a new data type. And here it is. It's currently named new data type. So let's give it a better name. The next part we need to define is the conceptual type. And this is just a simple description so other people have an idea what the data type relates to. For rectangle, it'll be a series of points. So we'll choose other. Now we can add in a description so people know what this data type would be used for. Next, we can define how the type forward engineers to different database platforms. Down here in the generic tab, we see that there is a bunch of information that's involved in forward engineering. First is a physical name, and you also have precision and scale and other fields including constraints. For our generic implementation, we're going to forward engineer to a bar char so that someone could enter in the points as a string. Next, we're going to define the precision. We're going to force it to be a constant of size 50. 50 should be a reasonable size for almost any point that would be the dimensions of a room. With the generic tab, we can provide platform specific overrides by pressing the plus button at the bottom of this editor. You can choose your data type. In this case, we'll be overriding it for Postgres. In Postgres, there is the box type. We can use this type as it's a great analogy to the rectangle already. We can change the physical name and override it to be box. And we can also override the precision from our generic tab and make it not applicable, so no precision will appear. Now that we've defined our data type and an override, we can press OK and use it in our data model. To use our data type, simply edit or create a new column and change the type to the data type we just created. Here's our rectangle type, so we will select it from the list and press OK. Now in our data model, you see that we're using the rectangle type and the precision is a type we defined in the generic tab. When you forward engineer this to any platform other than Postgres, this will appear as a bar char of size 50. When you forward engineer to Postgres, it'll appear as a box.